So we have two types of function. So which is the first one we have formal function. So in this type of function, a certain procedures such as seating the host, chief guest, guest of honors, and the invites are uh, properly uh, required for having a dress code so that it will look like formal. Alright, so dress code for the invites may be insisted upon controlled behavior of the guest and prevails in the formal catering. Okay, so the second one is we have informal function. So in an informal function, no formalities and procedures are followed on seating. So there are no dress code required in this type of function. Serving in the dress code are not properly required. So it normally includes entertainment. So the example of the informal functions are birthday parties, cocktail parties, wedding, anniversaries, club members, meets, and alumni meets. So what are the impressions of banquets? So, banquet is a large catering activity department where food and beverage are served for prearranged number of people on prefix date, time, and agreed menu and price. So, uh, it is a place where many guests having food and beverage together. So, what are the history of banquet? So, there is an archaeological debate of when a feasting began. So, archaeologist Brian Hayden argues that feasts were an important event because the surplus of food that resulted in fears touring into social political ties and a competition in order to displace one's own health. So during this feast, luxury foods were offered to their guests. So the idea of banqueting in ancient in the 16th century, a banquet was varied in different form of modern perceptions and st stems from the medieval ceremony of the void. So, we have types of banquet service. So, the first one is we have with sit-down service. So, the banquet guests receive their food at their seats. So, typically, you offer a choice of entries such as a beef, chicken, fish, or vegetarian dinner and have attendees make selections ahead of time. So, for example, this requires extra work in the planning stage of the event such as you will need to keep track of not only who is attending but who has made dinner selections and what those dinner selections were. So, the second types of banquet service is we have buffet service. So, the cost is typically lower for a buffet meal. However, it is often allows for a greater number of meal choice for picky attendees. Okay, so this is generally regarded at less elegant than seated service since guests are required to at Please get their meals on their own. So the third types of banquet service is we have station service. So this is a small tables are set up around the banquet room. So each station features a different kind of food and is typically staffed by a banquet server who keeps the food replenished and in some cases prepares or serves it. Okay, so it is a modified form of buffet service and typically costs somewhere between the price of a buffet and sit-down meals. So the last one is we have pastry service. So typically occurs 
in the traditional meal with this type of service. So the weight stuff circulates through the banquet room with the finger food on a large platters. So this type of service typically operates continuously for a black time and a full meal may not be served. So it encourages conversation and is typically considered more elegant than a buffet. Okay, so let's go to the organization and duties and responsibilities of banquet department and organization of banquet department. So the first one is we have prepared the menu. So make a list of all the dishes you would like to see on the banquet table, whether you are making the meal yourself or arranging a caterer to provide the cooking. Okay, so the second one is we have arranged for help. So you will need to either hire a professional catering staff or have a group of dedicated friends or volunteers to help out. Okay, so the third one is purchase or rent the equipment. So if renting a hall for the banquet, chances are the kitchen will be available for use. But check to see if it has everything you will need in stock. Okay, so let's go to the duties and responsibilities of banquet department. Okay, so the first one is we have decorate a banquet hall. So these are the responsibilities that you need to do. Okay, first is choose a team including a color scheme. Then start with the table lens. Okay, so what you are going to do when you are decorating a function area? So first is you have to set up or arrange the tables and chairs by uh, decorating the linens. Okay, the third is decide on the center. Piece. So what you need to do is by a making a centerpiece of the table. So you should consider the color or the theme of your client. Okay. Then surround the centerpiece with tall uh, or small votive candles. Then create a pretty cake tables by using a tablecloth with flower printed on it. So you should a uh, set up for a uh, cake table. So you should a uh, uh, it's up to you and how you are going to decorate with that uh, table for by uh, to use the uh, cake table. Okay. So then create a picture table with pictures of your guests of honor through the years in pretty frames then the last one is personalized okay so these are the job and responsibilities of decorating a banquet hall so the second responsibilities of banquet department is we have run a banquet hall. So a banquet hall caters to different occasions including anniversaries, retirement parties, birthdays, corporate events, and weddings. So you must be able to consult with your guests or coordinate events with your staff and manage the daily administrative duties needed to keep the doors open. So the first one here is stick to a budget. So you should know the bud uh, you should know the budget of your guest or your client first, okay? Then keep on the date of all requires business license for your banquet hall. Of course, if you are renting the bank uh, uh, event venue, you should consider the uh, license or business license first. If that uh, area is um, uh, license to operate in any uh, banquet or any event. Okay, so the third one is hire managers and staff to work in your banquet hall. So as a uh, event coordinator or event planner, if you have an event like this or uh, like as what I am said, 
birthday parties, weddings, and so on and so forth. So if you have an event like that, you should hire a staff to work with you. Why? Because you cannot work with that alone. Okay? So you have, uh, you, you should need a manpower. Okay? The last one is we have hire an event wedding planners to help coordinate special events. Okay, if you want to have um, your event and if you uh, if you don't know how to handle with that, you should hire an event planner or wedding planners. So the third one is we have banquet and planning checklist. Okay, so. Um, you should have your checklist. Okay, so the first that you, the first thing that you need to do is, uh, or you need to check is your venue. So communication with the venue is essential in assuring the banquet setup is correct and can accommodate all guests. Okay, so the second one is we have the food and beverages. So you should check. Uh, if the foods are uh, okay and also the drink so maybe because uh, if you cannot check with this maybe uh, the food is not enough to your guest so you should check first okay then the programs so activities and speakers so you need to confirm the date and time and location of the event one week before the event so any stage requirement should be in place and tested at least one day prior to the banquet okay so at this uh, uh, type of uh, um, duties is you should consider for your checklist you should check if all uh, programs and activities are all set okay so the last one is we have miscellaneous detail so list on the miscellaneous accessories and services all right so here are the booking procedures okay so uh, this one is um this is your check diary okay what if there is uh someone calling you by phone so what will you do so you should um get uh the order uh i'm sorry you have to get the details of your client via phone okay so then uh by written request so what are the requests of your guest or your client so what will happen if your uh, in person so same with uh, uh, procedures you should get the details okay then uh, this one is available and this one is not available okay so what are the things that not available during your booking procedures okay the first is we should uh, go first by the available things okay so th this one is you should enter a booking diary okay you should use your booking diary then uh, send confirmation letter so of course you should use or send your confirmation letter then uh, if the guest received this confirmation my notification in action then preparation for or prepare a function so you are the one who prepare for the function right after the confirmation then circulate it to various departments so what are the various departments that you need to um uh, work for so like for example um in the uh, banquet department right then one half days before prepare function are set okay then tables and plans okay table plans and staff allocation so you should uh, distribute all the tasks and responsibilities to your staff okay so what are the things that not available okay you have to check for this refuse politely if you think that uh, you don't have enough service to offer or 
Like for example, your guest or your clients asking for something that you think uh, your department or your hotel cannot offer with that. Refuse politely. Okay, so how to say refuse politely? Mom, I saw, I'm sorry, we don't have uh, uh, that. So, here are the some alternative options to offer for you. Okay, so offer some alternative, right? Then, not receive confirmation. So, what if the confirmation is not received? So, please inform your guest that uh, all the things that not available are already informed uh, him or her so that they can confirm that they didn't receive any confirmation, right? Alright, so let's go to banquet booking procedures. So the detailed information collected is entered in function prospectus or function contract sheet and signed by the banquet in charge and the host and the copies of function prospectus sent to the following department. Okay, so the first is front office. So, as it as the first point point of contact, the invites coming and attend the function will be inquiring the front office about the function, venue or anything pertaining to the function. Okay? So, if any complimentary rooms are given to the host, that should be booked by the front office. Okay? So, the second one is we have housekeeping responsible for cleaning and decorating the function hall, cleaning the clock room and ensuring adequate clock room supplies, and making flower arrangement and also for banquet, linen, laundry, and etc. So, the third one is we have the maintenance. So, responsible, responsible for ensuring all electric gadgets, AC, AV equipments are properly working. So, the maintenance should ensure that all the gadgets and equipments are properly working. So, the maintenance crew is expected to depute its staff during to attend to any emergency. Okay? So, the fourth one is we have a kitchen. Okay? So, it is concerned with the provision of dishes offered in the menu on time at adequate quantity. So, it helps the kitchen crew to plan it production schedule in advance and it is informed about any special dietary requirements for the host. So the fifth one is we have control. So the control department which maintains a separate account for function catering is notified about the function and the rate per Person. So, like for example, the play count is normally done uh, by the representative from the control department. Okay? So, it notes down the advance amount collected. So, actual number of people served and the guaranteed packs and etc. Okay? So, the last one is we have security. Okay, so the security department should be notified to ensure adequate security and are informed in advance about a large movement of people in the traffic control. So, you should uh, secure the security of all guests. Okay. Okay, so let's go for the banquet booking procedure. So these are the procedure when you are booking your event. Okay, the first one is we have date and time of the function. Okay, so you should consider with this. Why? Because in order for you to know if 
when that event will be uh, uh, held okay so next is we have host name the organizations and his or contact number and the address of course you should get all the details by your guest or your client okay then what type of functions she want to uh, celebrate uh, if it is a uh, birthday, wedding, anniversary, so you should get what type of function is that, okay? Then, the number of people to attend in the function, so you should get how much the number of attendees of your client. So, expected and guaranteed number of guests, deadline for confirming the guaranteed number of guests. So, you should get that a uh, number of participants or the number of attendees so that in order that your food will not be short then okay then the venue of the function so name of the function hall or outside of the premises so outside of the premises so like for example if the parties is outdoor parties okay then the price per head so how much the price per head so like uh, uh like for example um 650 per head so 650 you should uh, multiply with uh, the uh, how much the number of participants you have so the total amount on that is that you are going to pay with okay then the menu so you should consider for the menu you uh, let your uh, guest or client um decide for the menu but if you have suggestion then you should suggest okay so whether vegetarian non-vegetarian or special dietary needs if any then type of table plan so what type of table uh your guest or your client want so is it round table or a uh, presidential type so uh let your guest or your your client choose with that Okay, then wines or inclusive or cash. Then extra charge for facilities requested. So any uh, facilities uh, that your guest or your clients uh, request. So there is a uh, extra charge for that. Then requirements for sleeping rooms. Of course, our rooms uh, is not free. But I think there is a... Um, uh, what do you call for this? Uh, discount, I think. Okay, so uh, after taking down the basic information, more points, screen color, mic, uh, cordless mic, podium restroom should be decided on the following on the type uh, of the event. So you should consider with that also when you are uh, booking a uh, banquet booking procedures then of course we have a uh, place cards don't forget to uh, place the cards okay then the sitting plan so how is your sitting plan arrangement then uh, consulting the host your sitting plan you should consult to your host that is your client or your guest then toastmaster then list of those so who are proposing and who are replaying okay so then any special requirements such as uh lcd or computer so like for example if they are uh they need to use the lcd or computer so that is an uh, special requirement then changing of rooms so maybe if your guest or your client um wants to change their rooms uh, for continuation is service food uh, service of photographer and videographer all right so if you have a photographer and videographer then floral decor for the table the rooms and reception area you should consider with that Okay, then secretarial service, sign posting, press release, security service, internet facilities, copier, printer, stationery, 
car parking the uh, you should uh, consider the car parking because all your clients uh, your uh, guest clients has a car of course cash bar facilities and the music and dance floor and after uh, taking down all necessary information you should uh, the banquet department department may inform the host on the following so here are the following that you need to know of course the advance payment so it is collected for confirming the booking okay so the amount collected varies from hotel so some collect collect 60 percent and the other 75 percent so all times do not collect any advance if the hosts are regular and prompt payers so like for example if your guests are regular guest you uh, in your hotel so maybe uh, it is your arrangement right so like for example if uh, the guest request um, okay uh, since I am your regular customer here uh, uh, I think I can pay right after the event so I will pay the whole um, amount right after my event so it's up to you if you will agree with that okay so uh, if that is your uh, regular customer maybe that is a uh, what do you call for that um tawag ni pampa ano ah no uh, extra ano mo sa iya nga ay okay regular customer ko siya so pwede ko siya hatagan sa mga privilege okay then the dates for final settlement for the bill settlement okay so maybe instead either on the same day soon after the event or after two or three days depending on the type of function of the host okay so function cancellation fee the amount and deadline date of the function cancellation fee should be finalized so like for example if the uh, your client will be cancelled uh, one day before of his her event so how much the charge Okay, then date the final inspection by the clients. Of course, the clients will be checked for the final uh, last uh, time in order for his him to know if there is any changes she wants. Okay, so date for the fin finalizing the number of guests, you should also consider with that. Maybe if your guest or your client uh, wants to add some more number of guests, okay, so that as a uh, event planner or event coordinator, you should inform your um, banquet department that your client has add a number of guests, okay then chargeable service facilities what are the free uh, charge during your event okay so there are some uh, things that free but there are some things that there is charge okay then billing will be either guaranteed number of guests or actual so uh, like for example the number of guests um, uh, your, the number of guests that your clients inform you is 150 but at the end of the event you have to uh, monitor or verify if, if the uh, all of the guests of your clients are 150 or not okay then if uh, wala siya kaabot 150 uh, you have to count per head okay then, I'm sorry, sorry, manalipatan ako. May uh, mode of payment. It should be finalized, cash, card, or check. Alright, so let's go for the banquet menu. So, banquet menus listed food selections for banquet. So, which are festive dinners that celebrate special occasions. So, typically, banquet serve as a single type of appetizer, dessert, and allow guests to select their choice of main course. 
So, banquet menus help guests to make an informed decision on what to eat at a banquet. So, they give details <coughs> excuse me, about the dishes such as ingredients, uh, ingredients, sauces, and flavorings. Okay, so these are an example of the banquet menu. Okay? So, the second type of banquet menu is the size. Okay, so banquet menus are typically small and consist of only few pages. So, this is due to the limited dinner selections found at home or home banquet. Okay, then the third one is we have consideration. So, banquet menus often features fine dining, including expensive dishes such as filet mignon, lobster, stuffed chicken, and they typically do not list price as guests, usually buy banquet tickets that include the cost of dinner. So, usually, uh, the tic uh, only the ticket they are booked. But, um, uh, for the ticket, like for example, the price of the ticket is... 450 so you can um, eat what you want in all uh, all food that uh, served so for banquet protocol so um, running a banquet requires careful preparation so such like running a marathon so you must train your staff to delegate tasks and learn exactly what customer expect and make sure everything ran smoothly at the event itself. So the problem will uh, oh, uh, problem there is will occur but you must stay poised and prepare to address. Uh, even there is a problem occur, but you should know how to address that problem. Okay? So, that's the end for today's topic. So, the continuation of this uh, lesson 2, I will uh, send you um, right after I finish my PowerPoint presentation. Then, you have to study of this so that uh, you can answer the activity 3 uh, and 4 and also the assessment 2. Okay? Thank you and have a good day.